Now fuck me. So much of what we set out to do was a new look at female desire and sexuality. Let's be very clear about it. If you were worried that sex life would be found lacking in the first part of its title, the first season of the new Netflix drama will quickly prove you wrong. Do you know that I am trying to live my life? The show focuses on Billy, Sarah Shahi, a woman confronting the fact that while she's a wife and mother of two living in a beautiful house in the suburbs, she's not satisfied by her life with Cooper, Mike Vogel. Instead, she's becoming fixated on memories of her previous life, especially memories of her ex-boyfriend Brad, Adam Demos, and when those memories start to intersect with the present day in unexpected ways, her entire world gets turned upside down. While not greenlit yet for a second season, the first season ends with a dramatic twist after eight episodes of struggling with her desires, she goes to Brad for sex, but not for love. Which was so much less, we never even kissed! Oh, you were in love with him! Will Billy and Cooper get a divorce? The next morning, Cooper feels guilty about his actions and says that he has stained their relationship. However, he continues to blame Billy for their troubles. When he finally confronts Brad about pursuing his wife, Brad reveals to him that Billy always remained faithful and convinces Cooper that his wife only loves him. Cooper and Billy finally begin to work together to repair their relationship, as Billy notes that stains can be washed out. When it looks like they finally have some semblance of a happy marriage, Billy is once again haunted by flashes from her exuberant younger days. She realizes that the excitement that's missing in her life cannot be ignored, and we see her running down the street towards Brad's apartment. Unbeknownst to Billy, her husband is tracking her movements now and watches as she nears Brad's neighborhood. The season finale closes with Billy entering Brad's apartment and telling him that she's not leaving her husband and that nothing is changing. She then asks Brad to make love to her. So it looks like Billy has finally taken the plunge after trying to stop herself from taking it all this time. Become a responsible grown-up. She finally gives in to her desires after listening to a talk by her friend Sasha and realizing that she cannot keep the thrill-seeking side of her personality hidden. It is a dramatic step by the so far loyal wife that leaves her relationship in jeopardy after it was just recovering from its last upheaval involving Brad. We hear Billy's side of the arrangement very clearly when she tells Brad that she is not leaving her husband and that nothing will change. It is nothing. However, she does not know that Cooper is following her movements. Although Billy has shown that she can keep secrets from her husband, as she most likely plans to do now more than ever, Cooper finds it much more difficult not to immediately confront the truth. In the past, every time he has secretly read his wife's journal, he makes no effort to hide his actions. Therefore, it is likely that he will confront Billy about her encounter sooner or later. The fuck are you? Given the fact that Cooper has already considered leaving his wife and that he is attracted to his empathetic and openly available boss Francesca, it seems like this will be the last straw for him and Billy. The only thing that might hold Cooper back from a divorce is his sense of responsibility towards his wife and children. You wake up next to him every day. He earlier said that he would be willing to leave Billy if he knew that she and the kids were cared for. What the hell are you doing? However, since Brad doesn't seem to be up to the job, and since it is what makes the show so deliciously frustrating, Cooper is almost certainly going to remain with Billy. However, as we can already see, his character is now tainted by distrust of his wife, and the perfect husband might just be looking at the beginning of a new, much less idealistic chapter of his life. Is Billy taking the third way after the long and hard emotional battle that she fights? It seems almost inexplicable that Billy goes back to Brad, laying waste any chance of repairing her relationship with Cooper. Her actions are partly explained by the relentless flashes of her steamy times with Brad that she keeps having. Near the end, it also seems like she is hallucinating Brad when she briefly sees him at Sasha's talk before he disappears. <laughs> Billy, however, being a psychology major, also manages to intellectualize her decision through her friend Sasha's talk about the third way. Sasha, who is a celebrated psychology professor and author, describes in her talk how a person who seems to have found peace might just be repressing a part of their personality that then emerges as rage and pent-up frustration. To her discomfort, Billy realizes that the words seem to describe her. Sasha goes on to say that the goal for everyone is to find their true inner self and be that person, irrespective of how it makes others feel. 
This, in fact, exactly describes Billy's state of mind at the end of the show, where she goes to Brad seemingly without any guilt about cheating on her husband. Moments before, we hear Billy say that she refuses to give up parts of herself and that true freedom lies in announcing who we really are. It seems like Billy, in the end, has chosen the metaphorical third way wherein she follows her desires without worrying about her actions making people uncomfortable. I was at a conference. Brad happened to be touring with one of his bands. Interestingly, she has also very clearly not picked a side between Cooper and Brad and has instead taken the third way that allows her to have them both, at least for the time being. Many years later, while trying to woo the now married Billy, Brad tells her that he finally went and met his father. Billy is visibly moved and gets close to going home with Brad. However, she later changes her mind when Brad tries to move things forward a little too fast, proving that he is still his old and sensitive self. We do see Brad's new persona, however, when he tells Cooper the truth about Billy's unwavering loyalty. In a poignant twist, it is after Brad finally comes clean to Cooper, possibly his only selfless act the entire season, that Billy decides to cheat on her husband with him. Therefore, Brad does seem to have changed for the better. However, he has also gotten what his selfish past self wanted more than anything, Billy.